You guys know I've been popping off with these most recent videos and this is another one. But listen, you need to understand if you're one of my active followers, meaning you've been following me for the past 16 years, 10 years, five years, you know, you know that I love men. In fact, I even did a really good video called Lover of Men, why I love men. So don't get your panties in a wad when I bring some correction to you because know that it comes from a place of love. Know that I have a heart to see you succeed, to, to become, to, 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 <laughs> to become the man that you're destined to be, a man who leaves a mark on this world, a man who is a man of legacy. I wanna champion you, I wanna champion your heart. I wanna see you loved. I wanna see you getting more sex than you know what to do with. I want to see you thriving financially. I want to see you out traveling and seeing the world. I want to see you leaving a mark on this world, having beautiful children. But we need to have a come to Jesus talk because the reality is, is that time is not on your side. I don't know if you know this, but it's something I'm acutely aware of. That is tomorrow is not promised to you. It's not promised to me. And when we piss our life away, allowing things to take our attention, to distract us. And when we lose sight of something that I'm going to share with you, we F ourselves big time. And so we're going to talk about why most men fail unless they do this one thing. And here's the thing. I want to save you time. I, I don't want you to piss your life away. I want you to be the man that's on the right path that is going towards the trajectory of his dreams, of his destiny, of his future. But you need to know that I believe that you have what it takes. Now, if you're just one of these random YouTube commenters that you like to come and shit on people's channel, I'm not talking about you. Like you're probably gonna be a victim and maybe be a loser for the rest of your life. That's your responsibility. But the men who come to my channel, who are committed to watch my material, to practice what I teach in this, to overcome, to, to do my courses, get my coaching or become, and I need to say that really quick, be a part of my membership portal. It's 24 bucks a month. It's a spiritual alpha mini class. Everything's recorded. We meet once a month. But most importantly, what I am understanding is the most important part of this is that at the end of every training, that we come together live in a Q and A and you get to do that for 24 bucks. That's crazy. So you have no excuse not to be championed into your dreams, destiny and desire. So make sure that you join that. It's going to be in the description. It'll be in the comment section, but you have no excuse why you're dicking around in your world. So why most men fail unless they do this. There's a scripture in the Bible. And uh, let, me, let me back up really quick. When I was, when I was a young word hog, that's from the Lion King. When I was young and I was married, I'm still young, I'm 43, but not as young as 20, right? When I was young and I was married and I used to go to these prayer groups every Sunday and we would pray. And I lived on an island called Galveston Island in Texas. And we would pray for the island. We would pray that God would touch the island, that God would bring revival and restore the island. And there was a main pastor who was in charge and he was this pastor that had always been uh, a much bigger adult than me. He had bright white hair. And he was really down in the dumps one day because, you know, pastors go through it too. Any person who's in leadership, they're not always thriving. Sometimes they're getting their balls kicked in. And he was having his balls kicked in that day. And we were praying and yours truly had the gift of wisdom poured through her mouth. And I began to pray, God, give us vision because without vision, we perish. 
And that's what I want to talk about a little bit, but there's more to what I'm going to say. So you need to stay to the end of this because I want to give you, I don't like just introducing concepts to you. It just drives me crazy when people just introduce concepts. I'm like, okay, that sounds really great. How do I fucking apply this to my life? How's my life going to get better practically by watching this damn video? Well, I'm going to tell you at the end, but you need to understand the concept so that you can implement it. You'll see when you get to the end. And I'll never forget, he said, he was like, God, thank you for speaking through the mouth of babes, meaning I was the babe, not like hot babe, but like in my 20s, babe, still like very young. And he was like, I needed to hear that. That word convicted me. And so that is part of what I want to talk to you about is having a vision. I'm talking really fast right now because this actually really makes me excited. Um, when we don't have a vision for our lives, we perish. We and this is what I see going on with so many men is they have very blurred visions about what they want for your life. You may have a very blurred vision about what you want. And now you may be thinking, who are you, Erica, to tell me what to do? And you're a woman, by the way. So one, I'm a spiritual alpha, so I'm still alpha, okay? Don't, don't let these double A's fool you. Uh, you're like, can't even see them in that big sweater. Um, no, I've always been a spiritual alpha. And ever since I was young, even when I was married at 18, I, I always knew what I want. I always had vision for my life. I knew that I would be helping people. I knew that I would be on camera. And I knew that I would have a worldwide presence. That sounds crazy, but I always knew that. Then the vision was different. I thought me and my ex-husband were going to be televangelists. And we were going to be youth pastors and we would work with inner city kids. Well, I'm still helping people. I'm still on camera and I live in the south of France. I've lived in Bali. My television show was international where we were in Ghana, Africa, Dubai, Ireland, France, Panama. So the vision just changed. and Not changed. The vision stayed true, but just how it played out was different but I've always been a person of vision. And so that's who I am. And that's who's guiding you in this video. And that's who's leading you in this video. Yes, women can lead too. So calm down, son, calm down, calm down. So having a vision, but it needs to be clear. And so you might be asking, Erica, how do I get a vision for my life? And this is why I really encourage you to join that spiritual alpha community because I can really help you at the, in the live Q and A portion, I can really help you personally uh, develop that vision. But the gist of it is, is getting in tune with your heart. What are the things that make you come alive? What are the things that make you passionate? What are the things that you dream about when you're not dictating what you should be doing? Meaning when you just allow yourself to dream, when you give yourself permission, when in those moments where you're free and you think, gee whiz, wouldn't life be great if I could do this? Wouldn't life be great? Or, and sometimes this is one that people don't really talk about, but let's talk about jealousy. Let's talk about envy. Anytime that you get jealous or envious of someone, it's because they're living something in their life that resonates with you. The difference is that person gave themselves permission to have it and you keep circumventing that. And so you're envious of the fact that they're doing what you want to do. But hey, that's not the end of the world. It's not dark. It speaks to something deeper that you want to have that. You need to give yourself the permission slip to say, okay, I get to have that. So this is the gist of having vision is one, giving yourself the permission slip that even if you don't know how, I didn't know how I was going to be on camera. We didn't have iPhones. We didn't have any of that stuff back then. So I didn't know how I was going to be on camera. I didn't know how I was going to travel the world. I'd never left uh, the United States. I had only been to, at that point, I'd only been to shit, Louisiana, like, and that was by car. Uh, and I had only traveled you know, on a plane in Texas. So there was no like, and, and I didn't come from tons of money and none of that stuff. So the how was not worked out. So you need to give yourself permission to allow your heart to beat, to allow your heart to speak to you, to allow your heart to flow freely. 
And in doing so, it will speak to you. It will be the compass. It will tell you the vision that is inside of you that you want to live, the destiny that is meant to be played out, the legacy and the mark that you are supposed to leave on this earth, that your heart will tell you that when you give yourself permission, don't worry about the how, just give your heart the permission and say yes and write that vision down. For me, I'm more of a visual person, so I like to draw pictures. I can tell you stories about how I manifested a vision. I'll tell you really quick this one story and then I wanna go into the practical part. Um, When I went through my divorce, because for me personally, I don't think that at 18 years old, you should be getting married. That's just my opinion. Some people make it work, but it's very rare. So when I went through my divorce, I remember I got a hold of the secret and at the time I was like running out of money I didn't know how I was going to keep paying for my life. I was living in Columbus, Ohio. I'd kind of run through all of my money. I wanted to live in LA and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to draw it out. And I took a green piece of paper. Why I had green construction paper, I'll never know. And I started drawing with a pencil stick figures of what I wanted. And I think I was like, I wrote an author, which I have two books on Amazon. They're for women. Um, but one's called dating with a point and the other one is called strutting your way through a broken heart. It's a 30 day guide to help women go through a breakup. So it was an author, but this was the one that was really interesting and it came fast and pay attention to this. This is why having a vision and being intentional and giving yourself the fat yes permission slip will make this shit happen. So I drew myself with a stick figure and I threw myself, drew myself a piece of luggage And on the luggage, I wrote all of these countries that I wanted to go to. And at the time, uh, I had met a friend and we were supposed to work on music. They they worked on music in New York. And I had a flight booked to New York to go work on music with this person. And at the last minute, I was at the hairdresser and they said, which I, I still can't figure out how I was able to afford to get my hair done because I was really struggling for money at that point. I'm like, how did I afford to get my hair done that day? Anyways, I was at the hair salon, probably shouldn't have been, probably should have been paying my bills or something. Uh, I was young in my 20s, okay? So I'm at the hair salon and then my friend calls and says, listen, we have a big problem. I just got a random movie role in Rome, Italy. Now, I had just ordered a passport because we were talking about doing an international documentary on top of music. So I'd never even had a passport. So thankfully, I had my passport. And my friend said, look, if you come as my assistant, you're going to come with me if you want. And I was like, go to Rome, Italy. I've never been on a freaking plane internationally. And and I'm going to Italy. And this is right before Christmas. And I was like, yes. Next thing you know it, I'm in New York. I'm in car service, because that's what they do for movies. I'm in the backseat of a limo. We fly business class there. I'm staying at one of the hotels that Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes guest stood at in Rome, Italy. My hotel room looked like a princess hotel room. It had a huge canopy. It looked like a castle. And I was staying there and it was insane. And every day I was on a movie set with people like William Defoe, and I forget some of the other actors, that's terrible but it was phenomenal. It was a dream come true. And I'll never forget while I was out on a date with uh, an Italian guy that I met on the movie set, my mom called me and told me that from my divorce, we had just sold our house and that I had money coming in. What the hell? How did that even happen? How did I even manifest, create, attract, whatever you want to say? How did that desire come to pass? Because there was a brave, courageous girl who decided that she was going to take a green construction piece of paper and draw stick figures. And she looked at that with pure innocence and faith and said, I don't know how this is going to happen, but God, these are the desires in my heart. And I, and I would just look at this piece of paper every single day. This is why I say, write your vision down. Trust me, we're going to get to some practical stuff. So, I went from having that piece of paper to flying on business class to Italy, my first time international, to being on a movie set, to having my own room in this gorgeous uh, Italian hotel, and then being on a dinner date with this, his name was Daniel. I remember this guy's name, he's cute. I 
think he's married now. We're still friends on Facebook. Everyone's gonna go call me through my Facebook friends. They're like, where's Daniel? Where's from Rome, Italy? And, and then getting a phone call from my mom going, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm on a dinner date with an Italian guy, mom. Like, what is it? Phone call from Texas. I'm like, this is gonna be an expensive phone call. And to say, your house just sold, which for me, that money was to get me then to Los Angeles. I was gonna go to LA on that money to fulfill my dreams in TV, acting, singing, modeling, whatever I could get my hands on. This is the importance of having a vision. I really want this to land on your heart. I want this to blow your mind. I want this to really bypass all of the things that you think need to happen on a very linear approach because when you allow your heart to open and you allow God, divine universe, divine universe and the angelic realm to pour through your heart, Visions can happen. Your vision can happen in a greater capacity, far faster than you could ever imagine. If you will just say yes, if you will be intentional and really go, I don't know how, but I say yes. Remember, God created the earth with his words. In the beginning, he created everything through this word. In the beginning was God and the word was with God and the word was God. He has made you in his image. He has empowered you to speak things into existence, but it also says to write the vision down. So without a vision, you'll die. You perish. You will slowly die, which we all kind of are. But if you really want to live, have a vision, write it down, look at it. Who cares about the house? Say fucking yes. It's going to happen somehow, some way it's going to happen. Now, this is the hard part of the conversation. <sighs> you know I love you. You know I love you. You know I want the best for you. But if your friends and family aren't gonna tell you, I'm gonna be the one to tell you because I love you enough and because I'm talking to you on a camera <laughs> and you're not in front of me. So I have the balls, the ovaries to tell you this. What I see with men and where they are failing now is this that they have a very vague, blurry future that they want, uh, that they want to accomplish. But the reality is it's very vague and the biggest part, and this is why men fail, is because there's no focused, committed action behind that. I'll tell you a perfect example. I met a gentleman, I went on a couple of dates with him and he was very adamant. He was like, oh yeah, I, I want kids, I want this, I want that. And I watched him and here's the thing, if you're a man, women, we pay attention to everything. Remember, women have to carry a child in their womb for nine months, which means they are over planners. They will plan for everything because they have to. It's wired in our survival to have to plan. So when she asks you questions about the future, when she asks you those hard questions, don't be a little bit a bitch. Don't be a pussy. Don't start whining. It's because it's in her DNA. And when she's building your house and when she's creating a life for your child to thrive, your legacy, you're gonna thank God for those planning abilities. So don't be a little bitch when she starts asking you the hard questions. She's helping mold you into more of a man. Pay attention to that, just like you will help her in her femininity. So in that, he said, I want children, I want this, but I was paying attention and I watched how he spent his money. And it was spending money on lots of frivolous vacations uh, just, there was just constant money going out and I knew what this person did for a living. And I imagine that they made a pretty good living, like not like very rich, but comfortable, but I knew what they were spending and, and what they were making. There was a difference. And in my mind, that was a red flag as a woman, because the commitment wasn't in alignment with the vision. The focus was not in alignment with the vision. I would ask this person, well, what do you like to do for, oh, I like to go to these festivals and I like to do all these drugs and the, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Like, do you? But what I am saying is what actions, what focus determined actions are you creating that's actually going to position you to have the life that you're talking about? Really pay attention to that. So let's break it down to you. Maybe you're the guy and you're like, I want to find a wife. Okay, 
maybe you're crazy overweight right now and people judge books by the cover. They do. We all do. You know, it's like, I just heard a guy once say like, uh, you know, man, where do you find a woman that doesn't want just money? And I said, don't give me that bullshit. And I bet you want her to be attractive. And they got very quiet. And I said, yeah, don't give me that bullshit. Like everyone wants something. So, so don't think that you're just a freaking saint. Okay. So if you want a beautiful woman, but yet you are really overweight, how is that in alignment with your vision? Right? Guys who, uh, you know, they, they want a woman in their life. Well, okay. How many women have you asked out lately? Well, none. And so the reality is most men are failing because they're not taking committed, determined action. They're not focused on their vision. Remember I told you on their vision, I looked at that piece of paper every single day. I was focused, focused, focused. Uh, I even had a girlfriend who was visiting and she was like, you blow me away how self-motivated you are that you keep creating content as much as you do. I've been doing this for 16 years, making videos and producing content. 16 years. Can you imagine? There's nobody pushing me to do this but myself. When you have a vision that you really want, there has to be focus and there has to be dedicated action to that vision. And so once you get the vision, you have to ask yourself how focused and are my actions in alignment with that vision? And I, I'll never forget, like even, um, I mean, you would see a lot of this in Bali. There are a lot of Peter Pan guys, and this is kind of becoming a lot of people, lots of Peter Pan guys. I, I call them, I remember I got this from a friend. He's passed away. Unfortunately, you may know him. He was one of the, I called him the godfather of dating advice was David Wygant. Um, bless his soul. He is passed. He is no longer with us. Um, but I'll remember when I was single and, and dating in uh, Los Angeles and I was like, oh my God, like I put this guy in his place and he's like, Erica, I can't handle this. And he said, oh, Erica, you have a man child. I said, what? He said, he's a man child. On the outside, he looks like a man, but he's still just a little boy. He's a child. He's, ne he's not growing up. And now more than ever, there are lots of man children running around. Not my guys, not you. I'm talking about those other guys. And what makes these guys men children is that their actions are not in alignment with their vision. And so when they say they want a family, let's say a guy who makes a lot of money, who goes, oh yeah, 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 I, I, I want a wife, I want this. But he has a shitload of trauma that he's not dealt with. You think all that trauma, just because you have money, is going to create a lasting relationship? Guess what? There are a lot of lonely rich men out there because they understand very painfully that if they could not give to the woman emotionally, she was going to be gone. Either she was going to fuck the pool guy or she was going to take the divorce sell settlement and say, see ya. No, not for you guys. You're not going to be one of these people that this happens to. Not on my watch. Not my men. Not happening. But it's like, yeah, a guy says, oh yeah, I want a, I want a thriving home. But what does your internal home look like? Is your internal home thriving? Or are you just building your castle on sand? Meaning you're just building money, but you don't have the inner interior to sustain what it takes to be a diligent father, to be a loving husband, and to leave a legacy through your family. You don't have what it takes on the inside because you're not doing anything about it. And so guys, this is why most men fail is because they say that they want something, but if you monitor their life, if you look at the actions, if you look at how they spend their money, their time, their energy, it's not in alignment with their vision. And so I don't want you to fail. I want to have this hard conversation with you to say, listen, it's the consistent actions that you take day by day. Trust me, I'm not talking down to you. I'm learning this myself. You know, I've been Miss Free Spirited. I've lived all over the world and everybody loves that and everybody thinks that's so, that's so cool. But, you know, I'm 43 now. I can't just be pissing off to Bali and though I want to so bad. <laughs> I've got to stay put. I'm in the south of France and I've got to stay put. I can't keep just moving around. That was fun and it was a season. 
but I am a woman on a mission who wants to change the world, who wants to leave a lasting mark on this planet through my words, through my work, through my love, through the way that I support people. But I cannot do that if I'm constantly changing locations and never giving myself a solid foundation to sit upon, to stand upon. So I'm, I'm not talking down to you in this, but I am trying to empower you. I am trying to give you a wake up call to say, babe, let's pay attention to the actions that you're taking. Are they in alignment with your vision or are you, are you acting like another man child who goes, yeah, 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 I want to go to Disneyland, but I don't know how I'm ever going to get there. Or, I, I, I'm not doing anything to actually get to Disneyland. I haven't booked the plane ticket. I haven't put any money aside. I've done nothing. I just, I want to go to Disneyland. And that's what I hear. That's what these guys sound like when they say, oh yeah, I want a wife. I want a children. And I go, but, but you're living life like you're never, ever land. Nothing about your life, nothing about the actions that you're taking. Show me that you actually want that. This is just talk. You just sound like a kid. Like it's, and women pay attention to that. And so what happens is when guys do this, what they'll end up attracting is a woman who's insecure or maybe traumatized, who's looking for a man to be a savior but she's in the same chaos inside as he is in his own world on the outside. And so the two of them, their energy matches up because they're both in chaos and that feels normal and that feels comfortable, but eventually it ends up imploding on the both of them. So if you want a stable, solid foundation, you want a stable, solid home, it starts with you, you know, here's, and here's one more hard thing I'm going to say to you guys. You guys can bitch, and I just did a, a video on toxic females, and you guys can bitch about feminism, you can bitch about women, but at the end of the day, you cannot bitch when you are giving up your own power, and you're giving up your own power by not being consistent in your actions, by not having a vision, by not taking steps towards that every single motherfucking day. Don't bitch about women doing this and doing that when you are not being the leader of your own life. If you and I want to change the world, we have to start with a person in the mirror. I have to start with myself and you have to start with yourself. Don't worry about what the rest of the world is doing and how they're fucking themselves over. You worry about you. You focus on you. You get your vision. You take focus, determine action every single day so that you can leave your death. You can lead in your destiny. You can have the things that you desire. You can have the foundation so that when those things come, that you've built your house on a rock and not on the sand so that when the winds and waves of life come through, when the economy crashes, when everything happens on the outside, that because you've built your your home on a rock, your internal home on a rock. You've done your inner healing work. You've been focused. You, you have a coach like myself. You're doing the damn thing that you have that longevity, that sustainability that a woman can feel safe with. Why are women so masculine? Because they cannot trust the leadership of men anymore. And I'm sorry, that's how it is. You don't, you don't get to have both ends of it. You can't be like, oh, women, women just need to, no, no, no. If you're not leading, you don't get to bitch. I'm sorry, but that's the reality. If you're not leading, you don't get to bitch. And where do you start leading? You start leading yourself. I know this was a really challenging video, but once again, I have my video, Lover of Men. Watch it, just type in Erica Angelo, Lover of Men. I get really emotional because I do have such a heart for men, but I'm also not gonna pussyfoot around the idea that, hey, there's a lot of guys saying, ha, I, I, want, I want Disneyland, and, and there's nothing in their lives that actually line up. You say you want a wife, you say you wanna travel the world, you, you say you wanna do these things, but are you doing the practical things and are you doing the things internally that will make you the man who will be the hero despite the rain, despite the wind, despite the storms of life that no matter what, you will remain standing? Are you doing the work on the inside to become that man? If you need my support, you can come to me for coaching. Go to my website. I've got a coaching area. I've got online programs that you can do in the privacy of your own home. But the most affordable thing that you can do if you want direct access to me is to join that $24 Spiritual Alpha mini classes where it's live time every month. 
everything's organized in a library and I even give you beautiful meditations to help calm your nervous system, to rewire your subconscious so that you can become the damn hero and the spiritual alpha of your life. So you're going to see more videos to support you. Listen, I know that there are power on my words. I know that when I speak and you heed the words and the wisdom that come out of my mouth, that your life will change. I've seen it happen for countless clients, people who have gotten married, people who didn't have a lot of focus in their life and now are going on to become leaders in their community and their environments. I know my words can change your life. I do my best to partner with God when I do these videos. I'm like, God, this is your mouthpiece. Obviously the fuck and all those things, I'm not gonna give credit to God for. Those are Erica Angelo, <laughs> but he works through me. So he's kind like that. But anyways, I know they'll change your life, but you gotta get to work. So let these videos support you. I love you. Keep coming back. Join that spiritual alpha mini class. Comments have all the links. Bye.